Hello! In today's video, I'm presenting a slow reader's guide to reading more books. Let's do it. When I was younger, reading was never really my first choice of pastime. I learned to read late, and I preferred to do other things, such as like drawing or running through the woods. So picking up a book, sitting down, reading it, not my forte. Then I went to college, and I was forced to read a lot more and a lot more widely. And then I got out of college, and I didn't want to pick up a book again for about two years. I read maybe a couple of books, and that really channeled me towards watching a lot of YouTube videos but then something happened. I started watching more educational type YouTube channels such as the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. And that led me down the road towards podcasts that have channels on YouTube, which led me to listening to podcasts, which led me to the authors that they interviewed, which led me back to those authors' books. As I started to get more interested in books, Wifey introduced me to an app called Libby. So, she introduced me to Libby, which is a good thing. I introduced her to YouTube. Libby is an app on your smartphone, and basically you put your library card number into the app, and it allows you to borrow ebooks or audiobooks from the local library. And then what the best part is? The ebooks can be transferred and read on Amazon Kindle. At least most of them can. I've bumped into a few that aren't on Amazon maybe, and didn't transfer, but most books, can be read on the Kindle, and that's awesome. So reflecting on this process of becoming interested in and then subsequently reading more books, there are a few things that stand out to me. First of all is that having the Libby app or the library imposed a deadline that focused my attention towards finishing the book within a set amount of time. The Libby app gives you 21 days to finish an ebook and the same amount of time to finish an audiobook. But having that 21 day deadline to finish an ebook really helped me complete books in a set amount of time instead of putting it on the back burner and being like, oh, I'll get to it later. Yesterday was kind of crunch time. The book that I had from the library on spiritual disciplines was due to go back in a couple of days. So I read like two and a half hours, something like that, which is a lot of reading for me. Um, I, I don't usually read that much that quick. Coupled with the deadline is the fact that I would have multiple books on hold and being a slow reader, I only wanted to read one at a time, so if I knew that the next book was only a couple of weeks out, that gave me incentive to finish the book that I was currently reading before that book became available. The second thing that stands out is ease of use. One, I didn't have to go to a physical library to procure the books. Two, I could either listen to the audiobook with headphones on, which Let's face it, you can do that almost any time when you're doing dishes or cleaning or waiting for the bus or on the bus or walking home from the bus. And then ebooks can be transferred easily to the Kindle or read right there on the phone and the font size can be adjusted to anything. The thing about the Kindle is it now has the paper white light, which means that the page is always perfectly lit, which for me, being a slow reader, is impeccably awesome. Uh, it just really helps with the comfort and the ease of being able to consume the book. So I'm not there faced with the other frustrations that I would have with a print book, with not having adequate lighting, or not having adequate font size, etc., etc. Thirdly, and I kind of mentioned it already, is audiobooks. I just put in my headphones and I can listen to those bad boys anytime that I'm doing a chore or doing the dishes or walking. So the imposed the deadlines by the library, the ease of use of it being digital, and then the availability of free audiobooks all helped in me being able to finish more books in a relatively short amount of time for being a slow reader. With that in mind, there is one book that I finished lately that I got from the library that I found to be very impactful, and that is a book called In Order to Live by Yanmi Park. She escaped North Korea, was sold into slavery in China, and then escaped China and got to South Korea. And that story is phenomenal. And there are a lot of lessons to be learned from listening to her story and a lot of things to learn about life in kind of the underworld in China and then what life is like for poor people in North Korea and how they have to survive. It's a fascinating book and it's very much worth the read and it taught me a lot. I'm up against the deadline once again, reading Huxley's Brave New World. Kendall seemed to think that I had about 16 hours left to read it. I have about 17 days left to read it, maybe a little less than that, so 16 to 17 days. 
I have 16 chapters to go, so Kindle seems to think it takes me an hour per chapter for this particular book. I'm hoping that I can stay on top of it a little bit more regimentedly than the last one where I ended up with like a couple of days, but I had to read you know, two and a half hours in one day. I don't really want to do that again. I don't feel that it's good for retaining information to cram like that. So I'm hoping that I can stay ahead of the curve with Huxley's Brave New World and finish it ahead of the deadline without cramming. Let's do this. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Bye.